this is a video for bookkeepers who are newbies. You don't have very much practical experience, if any. You've kind of got the skills, but you don't really have any practical experience, and therefore you don't really have very much confidence either. It can be real hard, I get it, because, you know, bookkeeping companies that are looking for staff, and they really are looking for staff, they don't necessarily have the time to put into training a new bookkeeper. They're looking for more experienced bookkeepers. Well, how do you get that? You just need to get a handful of clients of your own. Uh, be very clear about what type of client that you're looking for and what value you can add to them. Is it uh, the local electrician down the road or some tradies in your neighbourhood? Is it uh, some service professionals that you can help? Who is it that you think that you can actually really add value to? If you're happy to do so, and I'm really reluctant to say this because I am all about making sure that you value what you're doing. But I get that this is a tricky situation. So what I'm about to say comes with the proviso that it's for a limited time only. Be okay to offer your service. Ooh, can't believe I'm about to say this. Free or at a very reduced rate. But only for a limited time and only so you can get some practical experience. You need to be very clear about your reasons for offering this to the client. You need to be very clear about why you're doing it, what your story is, what you're trying to achieve, and that you're only doing this to get some practical experience for maybe two to three months, um, especially if you're doing it free. Um, that's for a limited time, maybe it's project based. If you might come across somebody who, who knows that there's zero files in a big old mess, for example, and doesn't really know what to do with it and doesn't, you know, concerned about money and doesn't really know who to turn to. And they might actually appreciate a little bit of help for a limited time to tidy it all up, get it all up and running again, and then you can be their trusted person from that point getting paid that's one option you're looking for business owners who need some help don't really know where to turn feeling a bit novice themselves and would really like a bit of expert help this could just be like a foot in the door for you get a little bit of experience under your belt so you feel a lot more confident in what you can offer and also, you know, get, get yourself some better work stories. For example, when I first started business coaching, after I sold my bookkeeping business, I was really not feeling very confident. So I needed to get some work stories. I needed to be able to say, oh yes, I helped this client with this problem and this is where they were at and this is where we got to with them. And so I actually joined the New Zealand Business Mentors. And through that, I was able to work with some businesses, help them get from A to B. And I think it's a similar situation. You're volunteering for a short period of time. It's very much a learning activity. But I really need to reiterate that this is only for a limited time and you need to be very clear about the scope of what you're doing and how long you're going to do it for. Now, where do you start with this, right? So personal network, I think, is a good place to start. Friends, family, school and kindy, neighbours. You can look on social groups like Facebook community pages, neighbourly, Facebook business groups, for example. Um, Meetup groups, if you haven't been to Meetup, there's quite a few that specifically cater to small business, startups, tech you know different areas of business and there could be someone in there that would really use your utilize like to utilize your help um even the supermarket notice board but you know be very clear about what you're looking for you just need to get the word out there to all and sundry that hey here i am here's what i'm offering um, do you need some help i can help you don't be afraid to share your story people resonate you know when people are trying to get ahead and they're trying to accomplish something someone may resonate with what you're trying to do and they may need your help and be prepared to work with you even if you've got some limiting circumstances you might have a full-time job or a part-time job and so your work hours are limited to after hours someone could really appreciate your help right now always offer great value and be very clear about that value is and what it is what value it is that you can add to their business you need to be confident that you can actually add value 
you need to be confident enough in your ability to do a good job for them because you want to create a raving fan this is a really good opportunity for you to get a raving fan for people to say hey i really liked what this bookkeeper did she was really helpful and then they're telling all of their friends as well additionally their accountant if you've done a good job can also be a great source of potential referrals going forward so make sure that you can do a good job if you're not confident or if you ever get to a point in the project or the job that you're really not confident in your ability to do that then ask for help from a more experienced bookkeeper in the New Zealand bookkeepers Facebook group for example get some help if you ever feel that there's a point where you're like I'm actually not sure that I'm going to be able to deliver here I don't want to create a bigger mess than what I started I'm actually here to help this person so if you do it right you'll have work stories like I said, to tell future people so that you can grow the bookkeeping that you're doing and actually start to get paid. I just want to reiterate, I've said it a couple times, really reluctant to say work for free, but I think in some specific instances, you treat it as a learning experience and it's only for a limited time. You need to be very, very clear, just reiterating this. What is the scope that you are willing to do and for how long and not this ongoing I'll just keep doing a thing and it needs to be reviewed and then they might decide just so much value that they'll start paying for you. That's just some thoughts um, if you've got any more thoughts about how you have managed to get some practical experience when you didn't have any. Um, I suppose you could volunteer for charitable organisations, for example. Please pop them in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear and other bookkeepers would love to hear how you actually sort of got up and running. Hope that's been of some help. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Ciao.